as Rowdy Telez drills one deep right field. Rowdy has hit it way out of here. First pitch breaking ball, and he looked like he was sitting on it, and the Blue Jays lead two to nothing. Well, we talk about the Blue Jays not having many extra base hits against Tampa Bay, and they have scored both their runs tonight on home runs. A leadoff shot by Hernandez, and now a leadoff home run here in the fourth inning by Rowdy Telez, and he waited back beautifully. Bottom of the fourth. And this ball is crushed. Rowdy Telez hits one a mile to right field for a two run shot. Hey, you never know. Plenty of time left for Rowdy. That's home run number two, and this was a big time homer. He got that high fastball and he squared it up. Vando Gritchett with an infield hit, and now Rowdy goes deep. They got another one, and Rowdy hits it to deep right field, and it's gone. Another home run for Rowdy Telez, his second in as many games, and the Blue Jays are back within one. Rowdy Telez has to be in the lineup every day. He's the one guy that's got a chance to hit 30, 35 home runs and drive in 100 in a regular season. And yeah, he's a young guy, but you got to stick with him. I mean, he's got ridiculous power. And he's done a nice job of staying sharp, getting ready to play. And he hits it a mile to right field. Oh, man. Over the tent and over the seats out in right. A monster home run for Rowdy Telez. Boy, when he hits some. Um, there are a lot of no doubters. That one went forever to right field. Rowdy Telez absolutely smoked that ball, and that's his second hit of the afternoon. For Telez, that's home run number four, RBI number 11. Pitching coach Pete Walker, so that would pretty much indicate that he's done. Telez sends a drive to deep right center, and it's another home run for the Blue Jays. Gritchick in the first, Rowdy in the second. Two to nothing. What a hard hit home run for Rowdy. Number five on the season. Second of the ball game for the Blue Jays. And as is usually the case with Rowdy, when he gets a hold of one, it is no cheapy. 438 feet. The distance of that home run, and it's two to nothing Blue Jays. I crank it up for Boston. And Pelez, Telez rather hits another one. A mile to right. Two at bats and two home runs for Rowdy Telez. Boy, he got a slow curveball there and crushed it. That's the kind of power, and he's intriguing, man. When he gets on a roll, there's not a ballpark in the world that can hold him. As Telez sends a fly ball down the left field line, and it is gone. Now they're going to throw it back in but that looked like it hit up in the first row and then yeah it popped up in the air and then back down on the field and that's a home run for Rowdy Telez to the opposite field to get the Blue Jays on the board. Rowdy Telez absolutely loves hitting in this ballpark. He had a big game in game one and for Telez that's his third home run here at Fenway. He's hit over 300 in this ballpark and for his career he has hit well against the Red Sox and that is up on that little ledge you can see the ledge there and then there's a partition behind it that's clearly a home run and you can see Bill Wilkie the crew chief he saw it all the way from first base and now a drive to deep center field and gone how about Rowdy Telez what an at bat as the upward trends continue for Rowdy and the lead is extended. All right, Rowdy has done such a number on the Red Sox and that's his 11th career home run against Boston his eighth of the season. What an at bat that was. Now that's going to get high praise from the hitting coaches because he battled some tough pitches and gets himself a fastball. There's not too many ballparks that can hold Rowdy Telez. This one goes high off that wall in center field and it is a big long home run for Rowdy and the bench comes alive. Look at the hitting coaches <laughs> celebrating that at bat. 